Well, good morning. My name is Tim with Plugged Into Leadership, your outlet for leadership success. And I have the privilege of sitting with Dave Ferguson, coach, executive coach, speaker. Man, you do so much. But one of the things that he also does is he is an author and he wrote this fantastic book called Boss or Leader. And he was nice enough to sit down with me today and give me some insight on what's the difference between a boss and a leader. So if I'm... Uh, if I'm a worker, if I'm a worker bee, uh, what's, what am I going to look for in a boss or leader? Or better yet, how do I know if I'm a boss or a leader? Well, first, thanks for having me. I'm, 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 and I've enjoyed watching your growth. Um, I, you know, I remember when we met a while back. We and, did, yes. And so we've connected on social media. I've really enjoyed watching your growth. And I, I, I uh, applaud you for doing this, too, and putting yourself well, out there. Well, thank you. Thank you. So I've watched some of it, and I enjoy it. That, so, that means so much. Um, if you're not watching these more often, watch them more often, because there's some, yes. good, some good stuff in there. So difference between a boss and a leader, you know, um, that's a bit of a situational question. Okay. But... In, in, in the simplest terms, in the work world, you know, bosses drive results and they use people to get the results. Okay. Leaders drive results as well, but they develop people and they develop a team to get the desired results of the team. Okay. And, and in essence, I like to say leaders really walk alongside their team, uh, that's not ahead good. of them or behind them. Ah, yes. And, and, and the other part is, you know, we hear boss and leader all the time, right? Um, people are bossy or that's my boss. And one of the things that society has done that drives me crazy is that we actually put bosses up on pedestals. And if you think about it, really, in mo I'm generalizing, but in most cases, the only time we talk about leaders is when they fail. Oh, yes. Right? Just yep. look at the cable news. Just look at newspapers, right? Yep. Yep. We don't really um, applaud leadership enough. Mm -mm. Unless it's a failure, um, or or if someone's winning an award or, or getting a trophy, right? Yeah. And so I'm on this bit of a kick now of you know I want to make leadership great again. Yes. Right? Yes. And there's no political that I didn't mean anything politically there, but right. I do. I want to make leadership uh, great again, and if we don't talk about it, it's not going to happen. Right. And that's one of the one of the things I'm so glad that you brought that up that I'm trying to get going with our Tea with Tim shows. So I encourage you to be a leader. I encourage you to take the steps to continue to grow as a leader. And one of the ways that I have found to grow is to have a mentor and a coach. And, and Dave just mentioned that he and I had met uh, probably about a year ago and talked a little bit through about how to get things started and what, what are some things to look for. And he really gave me some great advice and I consider him a mentor in that sense. And so I talked a little bit about what the difference between a coach and a mentor is from my perspective last Friday, but I want to get your perspective. So coaching and mentoring, when you sit down with somebody that you're going to coach, what's your mindset? Or when you sit down with somebody that you're going to mentor, what's your mindset? What are the differences for you? It's simple. So when I coach someone, I'm asking the questions. When I mentor someone, I expect them to come prepared to ask, to ask me questions. Oh, that's a great distinction. Right. That's very simple. So I just don't pour out on mentees. Mm. Well, you met with me and you asked me, hey, Dave, I want to get this started. What, yep. what are some tips? The same thing I did 11 years ago when I met with a, one of my mentors mm. um, who is still in my life. Yeah. Um, I spent some time with him this week. I went and asked him, hey, I'm starting this business. I'm leaving corporate America. Give me some advice. That's great. Okay. Should I do this? Should I do that? And I continually go back to him and four or five other people that I have as mentors. Some I pay for, some I don't. Yeah. Um, but they're not my coaches. Okay. Coaching is completely different than mentoring. I, when I mentor people, um, I'm always prepared because I don't have to prepare. <laughs> yes. They have to prepare to be mentored. And preparing to be mentored means you come with the questions, mm -hmm. you come with the results, you come ready to tell me what's working, what's not working. Mm -hmm. It's not on me. It's great. So I can mentor on the spot because I'm ready. Yeah. Right, coaching a little bit different. You both get some homework. You both have to be ready. I've got to be ready to, and equipped to ask the right questions mm -hmm. to get the person to open up and tell me what they're feeling, what they're seeing, where they want to go, what their vision is. Right, yeah. all of that. And so it, 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 they're they're vastly different. And would you say that the leaders that are really going to do um, some great things usually have both? Yes, I think um, I think we as leaders do both. 
sometimes mentoring um, doesn't look like a relationship. Okay. Right. Look, coaching. I sign contracts with my clients. Yeah. I mentor several people, um, and uh, I don't sign contracts with. Them. Okay. You know, so I don't necessarily charge for mentoring. I take some people under my wing. Sure. Um, you know, when I coach other coaches, it is a combination in coaching and mentoring, but we have a contract. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but um, with some of the people I mentor, it's not. It's a. It's part of my legacy. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Legacy is huge. Legacy is huge. Well, again, thank you so much, Dave, for being willing to sit down with me on Tea with Tim. And Dave has written this fantastic book, as I mentioned earlier. And Dave is nice enough to uh, give us some books. And we want to pass those on to you. So the first 15 people that share this video on their wall, I will contact you and I will send you a free signed copy of Boss or Leader for you. So go ahead and take advantage of that right now. Share this video with your social media, with your friends. Uh, like it wherever it's at and you will get a, a free book. The first 15 that do that. So I'm excited for you and all that's going on in your world. And uh, I really appreciate thanks. it. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for having Dave. me. Good to see you again. All right. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.